The next closest one is Tyler Hero at like 3.9. Yeah. So Kobe is really developing quite nicely. Oh, oh nice, nice spin. Move. Little English there from Shea Gilgis Alexander as he gets on the board. Mike, when you look at Roby in his frame, he looks like he should be out on the perimeter, but he's playing the five spot. You know, it's just his second start this season. Just stay ready. Well, he's getting a, a big opportunity here in the early part of the season. There he is, straight away, right on cue, and he cans that three. And anytime you got Zach Levine passing the basketball or drive to the basket, you'll take it. SGA off the screen, and he knocks it down from downtown. But as you said, you kind of see glimpses. You see these moments here where this Thunder team can really make things difficult on the opposing offense. Right. As Isaiah Roby's got another nice drive to the left. You know, it's one of those things that's really, you know, the guy does it. You know, he gets a deflection, and it doesn't show up as nice to see Bays knock down one from downtown. Trying to evade these situations where Chicago is going to trap out on the perimeter. We've seen Shaquille just Alexander get trapped a couple of times, and that ball dances on the rim out of the arms of Williams, who connects on a three. Yeah, they just keep rolling in. But, you know, he's done a good job. And what I talked about is just staying out of foul trouble, too. SJ wants the three and got the three. There was Muscala on that play. SGA searching for some openings and didn't have much, but still able to finish. You know how it breaks down because it's kind of cool. It's a little different actually than what took place in the bubble where if you were within three games as Dort lines up that three. You know that not having the all-star game certainly makes sense. As the Thunder continue to get inside. Trying to score a few points here. As the Thunder had gotten it down to single digits. And Dort comes right back and how about that takes the bump off Williams and banks it in. Late. Well, not, a nine-point game is much more mentally manageable as SGA plays through the contact, banks it in on the foul. I mean, most guys in that situation, it's a turnover. You take that kind of contact. Thaddeus Young's a pretty good defensive player. Always have been throughout his career. If he misses both free throws, Thunder would gladly take that to possibly bring this to a single-digit game. And SGA bisects the lane. And you start licking your chops too soon. You got to lick your chops why you make that play. How about that move by Shea? My goodness. And Pokashevsky lines up the three. Every foul from here will put Oklahoma City at the free throw line. As SGA probing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a scoop and score from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Under with 24 points off turnovers. SGA again. This time he's got a lane to the rim. And he'll finish with the right hand left side. And, and one thing the Bulls will do is turn the basketball over. They lead the NBA in turning the basketball over, and now you're converting. As Levine off the deck, a rare miss for him and the Bulls on the night. And the Thunder can inch a little bit closer here. Bulls in transition as SGA underneath, and the reverse layup is good. Games, this is where they've got to learn how to take care of the ball. And Williams off the Gilgis Alexander feed with the dunk. One possession game here. And the Thunder will get another opportunity here, down by three. Ran some beautiful action on the previous possessions. SGA spins in the lane. Hangs, counted on a foul! Give a bucket. Free throw is good, and the sheer refusal by Oklahoma City tonight to not go away. Here comes Oklahoma City, minute in here to this overtime extra period. Shaquille just Alexander again, this time. Defense draws toward him, leaves Muscala open as he splashes home that three. Under a minute to go. SGA gives it up, Muscala again. This time, he connects from downtown. 